There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, is it possible to be anemic and have high blood pressure? Answer by Angela Kunis. Conditions list medically reviewed by George Krusik, MD, MBA. Anemia happens when the number of healthy red blood cells in your body is too low. Red blood cells carry oxygen to all of the body's tissues, so a low red blood cell count indicates that the amount of oxygen in your blood is lower than it should be. Many of the symptoms of anemia are caused by decreased oxygen delivery to the body's vital tissues and organs. Source Video Blood Pressure Exercises vs LCB Anemia is measured according to the amount of hemoglobin, which is the protein within red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues. According to the Office in Women's Health, OWH, about 3 million Americans suffer from anemia. Women and people with chronic diseases such as cancer have the highest risk of developing anemia. Dietary iron, vitamin B12, and folate are essential for red blood cells to mature in the body. Normally, 0.8 to 1% of the body's red blood cells are replaced every day and the average lifespan for red cells is 100 to 120 days. In general, any SS that has a negative effect on this balance between red blood cell production and destruction can cause anemia. Causes of anemia are generally divided into those that decrease red blood cell production and those that increase red blood cell destruction. On the other hand, any disorder that destroys red blood cells at a rate that's faster than fair made can cause anemia. Factors that increase red blood cell destruction include, according to the Office of Dietary Supplements, ODS, the recommended daily iron intake for women age 19 to 50 is 18 mg. The daily iron intake for men of the same age range is 8 mg. During pregnancy, daily iron intake should increase to 27 mg, but women who are breastfeeding only need 9 mg per day. Folate is the form of folic acid that occurs naturally in the body. Males and females over the age of 14 require 400 micrograms dfd micrograms of dietary folate equivalents per day. For women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, the recommended intake increases to 600 micrograms slash d.f.t per day. Examples of foods rich in folate are, the daily adult recommendation for vitamin B12 is 2.4 micrograms. Women and teens who are pregnant need 2.6 micrograms per day, and women who are breastfeeding require 2.8 micrograms daily. This test applies a chemical to a stool specimen to see if blood is present. If the test is positive, it means that blood is being lost anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract, from the mouth to the rectum. Problems like stomach ulcers, ulcerative colitis, and colon cancer can cause blood to bind stool. But the long-term outlook for anemia depends on the cause and the response to treatment. Anemia is very treatable, but it can be dangerous if it's left untreated. Pay attention to food labels and invest in a multivitamin to ensure that you're getting the recommended daily amount of iron. Thalassemia is a blood disorder in which the body makes an abnormal form of hemoglobin. Read on to learn more about its symptoms and how it's diagnosed. Answer by Ian Jenkins. Sure. Absolutely. It'll give you one common example, renal failure. Your kidneys are crucial in blood pressure management, and high blood pressure is very common in kidney disease patients. It also causes kidney disease. Some of these patients have to take five blood pressure medicines to control their blood pressure and they may still have high values. At the same time, your kidneys make the hormone that prompts the bone marrow to make red cells, erythropoietin. If the kidneys, which get a ton of blood flow and do a ton of work, sense insufficient oxygen, blood flow, they make more, and maintain the hemoglobin concentration in a normal range. When the kidneys get sick or die, they don't make enough, and the patient is going to be anemic. We give supplemental lepo to correct this, but only partly, due to reasons of both need, safety, and cost. Remember, anemia refers to the concentration of hemoglobin in the blood. Blood pressure, on the other hand, depends on the cardiac output, which in turn depends in part on volume, and the systemic vascular resistance, which is how tightly square you ease down the arteries are. You can get 5 liters of saline and have hypertension and anemia, or you could bleed rapidly to half your current volume and get a critically low blood pressure but still have a normal hemoglobin concentration. Answer by Carmel Maluth. Hmm I thought I answered this, but there are all types of anemia like sickle cell. 
thalassemias, iron and folic acid deficiency and pernicious anemia which is caused by lack of intrinsic factors or interference by medicines like H2 blockers such as Nexium. Anemia can be caused by slow leaks in the GI system that do not cause a BP drop. Medications can cause high blood pressure like NSAIDs or meds given by 4 in the ICU. In the condition kidney failure lack of erythropoietin causes anemia, but also high blood pressure. The coexistence of atherosclerosis may also cause vascular changes which contribute to high blood pressure while the other conditions coexist.